when I wear the masks, I ask people if they've got diabetes, I ask people if they've got high blood pressure, and if they know anyone who had their leg amputated from gangrene. How can the cinema be challenged and changed by autistic perspectives? And no speech yet at the age of... Four. Typically, cinema has depicted autistic characters from the outside looking in with fascination at a high-functioning or magical subject. Autistic characters are often fitted neatly into a stereotype, a character who will change the lives of those around them. But there is a profoundly different version of an autistic sensibility as a condition with benefits that can also be found on screen. How does it feel to be you? And I said, not good, because I don't have any friends. There are many ways that autistic experience can be represented in film. Wow! <laughs> Camera movements, enhanced sound design, graphic animation. These are just some of the filmmaking techniques employed in the biopic Temple Grandin to put the audience inside the thought processes of the autistic scholar. It shows my visual thinking absolutely accurately. Life Animated examines the place of animation in the evolving mind map of a child, where the medium of film becomes a way to understand and be understood. Features like Jigsaw or The Slightest Gesture, shorts like The Mask and Scrapbook, even films that don't directly deal with autistic characters, like Mulholland Drive, they offer novel approaches to translating different ways of thinking on screen. A cinema reflective of autistic experience is rare, yet it has so much to offer our understanding of inner and outer life, shining a light on neurodiverse ways of being. <laughs>